Hello, I'm Weird Al Yankovic, and I'd like to tell you an idea I had for a movie which was never made. This idea is actually based on a personal life experience. I was probably in my late teens. I got a job working at a music conservatory. Teaching was my main gig, but uh, part of the job was being an accordion repo man. I guess I should explain that. So the accordion school would lend them an accordion to practice on at home while the kid was taking lessons. Now, if the kid stopped taking lessons and the parents somehow forgot to return the accordion, that's when they'd call for accordion repo man. I always kind of thought that would be a cool action hero, you know, accordion repo man. Super gritty and dark, very Batman-esque. We start in some creepy abandoned warehouse or crack den kind of place and boom! The door flies open and in walks accordion repo man. Whoa, whoa, wait, oh! Oh! He's standing there all fierce and muscular, so cool. Anyway, he interrogates some henchman guy like, where is she? Accordion repo man, don't hurt me. Where is she? The henchman is terrified and points to the corner of the room. I don't think accordion repo man has a specific catchphrase or anything, but um, I can see him tossing off super corny one-liners during a fight like, hey sleaze brains. I hope this strikes a chord. No! Ah! Oh! Accordion Repo Man rushes over to save her. And by her, of course, I mean the, the captive accordion. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna get you out of here. And then we hear an annoying high-pitched whistle. <laughs> it's so loud that Accordion Repo Man is completely immobilized. You're damaging the cilia in my ear canals. Ah, you fiend. When he's finally able to move, he turns around to see none other than his arch nemesis, Dr. Decibels. You're too late, accordion repo man! And then he explains how he's planning on selling the accordion on Craigslist. This little lady here is gonna fetch a pretty penny, maybe $10. Or best offer. Which for you, I know, will really... Blow. So he's like, you can't do this, you monster. Why not? Is it because you have to return this to your music school? Dr. Decibels realizes that he knows Accordion Repo Man's secret identity. I know who you really are. I mean, you can totally see it's the same haircut. It's not really that great of a disguise. It's pretty obvious, really. Just another billionaire playboy accordion teacher using your riches to moonlight as a superhero! You will never squeeze a surrender out of me. <laughs> I'll polka your eyes out! <laughs> it's really, really bad. Dr. Decibels would say something evil like, Look at your instrument! Is that a piano or bagpipes? <laughs> And then the next thing we see Dr. Decibels is about to smash the accordion with his metal boot. And in that moment, Accordion Repo Man realizes Dr. Decibels' secret identity. He's like, Toby? And Dr. Decibels is like, what did you say? Toby Williams? I remember you. And he explains how young Toby was once his student, but he just really sucked at playing the accordion we find out that that's Dr. Decibel's real motivation. Like, if I can play the accordion, no one can! <laughs> you don't have to do this. I can still teach you. It's too late for me, Mr. Jankovic. Why don't you no. accordion repo this? So he goes to stomp it again, but Accordion no. Repo Man tackles him, and they both crash through a 10-story window. <laughs> And then the henchman from earlier wakes up and finds the accordion on the ground. And the Craigslist guy shows up like, Hey, I'm here to buy an accordion? And the henchman tells him, It's not for sale. Then he makes a sacred vow to learn how to play it himself. Because you may never find the accordion to be cool or even good sounding. But when you need it the most, the accordion will find you. And then the Craigslist guy goes, Are those guys dead? Cut to black. Credits roll.
You know, honestly, I, n I never bothered developing this idea. Um, it's just something that I think about every now and then when I'm staring off into middle space. Uh, but I do think it has major potential, and I'm holding out for a three-picture deal. Any time now, Sony Pictures.